There is a growing threat to Europe as large biotech companies are pushing to grow new GM crops. These GM crops are heavily sprayed with the pesticide Roundup with devastating effects. Entonces, al fumigar nos ha fumigado la gente, entonces a nosotros nos han enfermado. Well, the scary thing, I would say, is that I find the same deformities as uh, has been seen in the children born in Argentina. Despite this, European decision makers may allow these crops to be grown in the EU. Currently, Europe's fields are relatively free of GM crops. However, millions of tons are imported each year for animal feed. Now, some European farmers fear Roundup residues in the feed may also cause problems. As Denmark is only a small country, we import 1.7 million ton soya, mainly GM. For well, a number of years, found that we had many deformities born, as deformed piglets. And uh, we had 23 in the last one and a half year. It's uh, crania deformities, spinal deformities, one with sex organs, one with heart. It was totally fluffed up with water. My sire that I used to uh, feed a pig with came from Latin America, I believe Argentina. En Ituzaingó sucedió eso porque antes nosotros teníamos toda una granja, había vaca, había animales, había, eh, había frutales, y bueno, destruyeron todo eso y sembraron soja. Yo la enfermedad de mi hija nunca la asocié con la, con la soja, con el problema de la fumigación y todo eso, pero después de, de haber estudiado, pues tuvimos que leer nosotros para defendernos de los funcionarios, Bueno, yo me sentí mal, yo me sentí angustiada porque eh, es muy difícil para... Pensé yo que a mi hija le había podido pasar algo de eso, de que algo nos estaba enfermando y no sabíamos qué lo que era. Eh, yo comencé a hacer un relevamiento de ir casa por casa y ahí me encontré de que había muchos casos de cáncer y muchas leucemias. Y muchos niñitos afectados, niñitos con malformación. Hay niñitos que han nacido sin el maxilar, sin el huesito de la cabeza. Otros niñitos eh, sin el diafragma y tenían los órganos para, para arriba. Y bueno, yo después que empecé a investigar eh, eh, y empecé a darme cuenta que los agrotóxicos nos habían afectado. The fields surrounding Sofia's community are planted with Roundup Ready soya. Developed by the agrochemical giant Monsanto, these crops have been genetically modified to be resistant to glyphosate. Glyphosate is the active ingredient in the toxic weed killer Roundup. EU officials claim the pesticide is safe for humans and the environment at certain levels. However, research carried out by embryonic specialist Professor Andreas Carrasco disputes this. Nosotros lo que simplemente hicimos es someter un diseño experimental con concentraciones eh, in, este, bajas de glifosato. Encontramos que producía sistemáticamente malformaciones porque lo que parece que el glifosato hace es incrementar una sustancia que es teratógena, es decir, que es capaz de inducir malformaciones en los embriones. In addition to Professor Carrasco's scientific research, recent findings from the first ever long-term trial on the health impact of Roundup were released. The results were very disturbing. In the male rats, there were liver and kidney disorders, including tumours, and even more worryingly, in the female rats, there were mammary tumours at a level which is extremely concerning. Up to 80% of the female rats had mammary tumours by the end of the trial. Roundup residue is found in GM soya and other crops imported into Europe at levels which recent research suggests could cause long-term health effects. So the effects you see in a laboratory are really caused by very low dosages. It's 0.1 milligram, something like that. We're very, very low dosages, which are interacting with the hormone system. And if you look to the regulation, there is a very high dosage allowed on residues in glyphosate. It's 20 milligram per kilo. This is an incredible high burden of, of residues there in, 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 in the food products. And if I take the findings from the laboratories, this is a very high risk for consumers. 
what am I feeding my pigs with? Maybe I could have a benefit out of changing. We changed the non-GMO soil. What I've noticed in difference in the pig house, well, the medicine use has gone down a lot. The sows got healthier. I, uh, I can keep my sows longer. I've noticed that I had, to, I had to cut down on my intake on new gills because my old grandma, as it is, live longer. It's made you think about present farming methods. We should be going uh, to a more um, small scale and uh, an agriculture that uh, is more based on agroecological principles and not on um, an industrial monoculture system of, uh, of producing. So it's very bad news. We should especially pay much more attention to the damage it has already done in Latin America before uh, we implement uh, such a thing in, uh, in Europe. UK farmer Michael Hart has been speaking to American farmers about their widespread use of GM crops. Worldwide at the moment, farming is, is, is difficult. Despite the fact that food prices are rising, that's at the retail end, not at the farming end. So genetically modified crops with their supposed lower costs of less herbicide and so on um, sound like a great idea that would actually help farmers in terms of profitability. And my recent trip to America is, is actually the last uh, trip of a number of trips that I've made over the years. In the early days, they thought it was, you know, genetically modified crops, herbicide tolerant and insect resistant crops were probably the best things since sliced bread, to use a very English expression. The situation has changed in that now farmers are experiencing big problems with weeds that have become also tolerant of the herbicide that is used on the herbicide tolerant crop. And now insects become intolerant to the insecticide that's built into the plant. It's a failed technology. It, it's not worked. Most farmers that I spoke to being quite open about not wanting to grow them anymore. What would you recommend to me as a, a UK farmer and to other European farmers? Should we go down the route of, of genetically modified crops or, or is it something you think we should avoid doing? Well, I would say, you know, at all cost, avoid doing it. GM crops continue to be promoted as the miracle crop. But in reality, the cultivation of Roundup Ready crops increases pesticide use, which in turn harms biodiversity and contaminates water systems. Despite this, European decision makers may allow the first GM Roundup Ready crops to be grown in the EU. So far they have uh, only been used for imports, largely for animal feed. Uh, which is already very concerning, but now they want to approve it for cultivation, which means that we will have Roundup Ready maize, Roundup Ready soy, uh, Roundup Ready oilseed rape, sugar beet, uh, all these Monsanto crops, uh, they'll be uh, out on the fields and that will massively increase the use of uh, Roundup on the fields in Europe. This is now the time where the European Union can decide, do they want to repeat it? But happened in the US, what happened in Argentina, what happened in Brazil, or are European politicians, are European citizens, are European experts smart enough to learn something from their mistakes and not to authorize any herbicide-resistant crop in Europe and also not other GM crops.